Question 25. The diagram shows the structure of the cholesterol. Student X stated that the 17 carbon atom in the four rings here, they are lie in the same plane. Student Y stated that this molecule displays cis trans isomerism at the CC double bonds there. Which students are correct? So first, uh, let's look at the student X. So this student stated all these carbon in the ring, they are in the same plane. So this one obviously is wrong. Why? Uh, in this uh, uh, diagram, uh, it looks like in the same plane, but it's not. So you have to understand, many of this carbon, or many of this carbon, they are sp3 carbon. sp3 carbon, you should know that, its geometry is tetrahedral. So when it's a tetrahedral geometry, how can be the carbon in the same plane? So it will be uh, in and out, right? So it won't be the same plane. So therefore, student X, okay, the statement's wrong. How about student Y? It looks like uh, this one is can form cis trans, but in fact it cannot. Why? Because even though this is a, this is a CC double bond. But you have to understand, this CC double bond is in the ring and in this uh, larger structure. So this CC double bond, the groups that bonded to the CC double bond actually they are fixed. It cannot really change. So I give you one example how to form cis trans. Okay, if let's say now we have this. Uh, uh, alkene, right? So this are uh, butene. So when this methyl group at different side, so this is a trans isomer. When this methyl group, they are at the same side, so this is a cis isomer. So the cis trans can be formed when the group can change means either it's same side or different side but in this structure you see the c double bond all the groups here they are locked so it cannot really change so when it cannot change how to form cis trans so that's why the student y also wrong so answer therefore is very clear is b Okay, thank you.